Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. To those who come here for the first time, I am Engineer J. I am a civil engineer and I am also currently teaching as an engineering professor. And in this video, we will learn another type of word problem. So we have this number problem. So if you remember our pre in our previous video, we learned how to compute age problem. And uh, this is the same. So the best strategy in solving word problems is to understand the problem itself and then we express the, the words or the sentence into numerical expression or into an equation. So we, let's try to solve our first example here. And now we have this example number one. So in this problem, we are asked to compute these two numbers in which one number is two more than thrice the another. The sum of these two numbers is 30. Okay? So, the first thing we do here is we identify or we represent this number as variable. So, we, let's say we, um, we set x here as our first number and then y here as our second number. Now, from the problem, it says that one number is two more than tries the another so that means the f the second number is 2 plus 3 times the first number so we can say that um y here is 2 more than when we say more than that means we add then 3 times the another number or the, in that case we have x as our an first number here so that means we have this equation for the second number that is 2 plus 3x. And we also have another condition here that the sum of these two number is 30. That means if we add x and y, their sum is 30. Okay? So that means we can express the equation here uh, in terms of x. So we have y is equal to 30 minus x. So we can now equate the equation since we know that y is 2 plus 3x. So we can express the, the equation into a um, uniform variable. So we can change this y variable here as 2 plus 3x. So we have here y is 2 plus 3x and this equals to 30 minus x. So remember this equation here is our y. So we can now simplify the equation. So we can combine two similar terms. So we have here 3x plus x. So we can um, transfer x to the left side of the equation. And then we change the sign. And this equals to 30. So we move 2 to the right side of the equation. Then it becomes negative 2. So we add these two terms here. So we have 4x equals to 30 minus 2 is 28. So we have x here is equal to 7. So we have now identified our first number, which is x. So this is our first number. To compute for the second number, so we have known that y is our second number and this equates to 2 plus 3x, correct? So we have 2 plus 3 times 7, this would give us 23. So 23 here is our second number. So therefore, our two numbers are 7 and 23. Now to check, that since we know that if we add 7 and 23, this would give us 30. That means we have satisfied the condition from the problem. So that means we have correct um, answer in this problem. So that would be our first example. Now let's proceed to our second example here. It says that the smaller of two numbers is thrice the larger. The larger number is 8 more than the smaller one. So we find the numbers. Okay, so we have still two numbers here, the smaller and the larger. So let's um, say that our x here 
is the smaller number and y here as our larger number. So then we form an equation. Now we know that the smaller of two numbers is thrice the larger. So that means we have x is equal to 3 times the larger, which is y. And then on the second condition, the larger number is 8 more than the smaller one. So that means our larger is y, and this equals to 8 more than the smaller one. So 8 plus the smaller one here is x, correct? So we have 8 plus so that means we have formed two equations here. So this is our equation number one, and then this one is our second equation. Now, in order to compute for the value of x and the value of y, we can equate a variable x here as 3y. Now, remember from our equation, x equal to 3y. So we substitute the value of x here to this equation. So we have y is equal to 8 plus 3y. Okay, so we can solve y here first. So we have um, we have three y minus y is equal to equals to negative eight. So we have three um, y minus y. So we have here two y is equal to negative eight. So we have y here is equal to negative four. Or that means this is our larger number. Now for the smaller number, we know that x is equal to three y. Then we have x equal to 3 times negative 4, so we have negative 12. So this is our smaller number. So our two numbers are negative 4 and negative 12. Now to check, it says that the larger number is 8 more than the smaller number. And we have identified that smaller number here is negative 12. Now take note. Negative 12 here um, is the smaller since it is a negative integer. So we can say that y is equal to 8 plus negative 12 and this would give us negative 4. So that means our larger number is negative 4 and our answers are correct. So we have two numbers, negative 4 and negative 12. And that ends this lecture. So I hope, guys, that you have learned something. So please comment it down if you have questions. Thank you guys for listening. But please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share it to your classmates, to your friends, or, your, or to your co-reviewers. Thank you guys for listening and God bless.